YouTube, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you how this simple product can give you 60 degrees of angle for your Corvette for under 500 bucks. And then of course we're going to do some testing. So to use this mild Mantis kit from FDF, all you need is your factory knuckles, or if you already have modified knuckles, you can use that. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to cut off the existing toe arm. And the reason for that is because this kit, as you can see, has a different pickup point for the toe arm. So effectively, it's going to slide over. This slides over the knuckle, uses the factory pickup points for the lower control arm and for the upper control arm. So effectively, you can use factory lower and upper control arms. And then all it is is a different pickup point and heim joint and a tie rod sleeve. And that's what gives you 60 degrees of angle. Now what's really cool about this kit and what makes it better than really any other mild kit, if you will, or modified knuckle is the fact that you can do adjustable Ackerman. So this, I believe, is the negative Ackerman setting. We're gonna put in the neutral Ackerman setting. Um, I prefer either neutral or a little bit of positive Ackerman. And all that means is that the leading wheel, if it's positive Ackerman, the leading wheel has more angle than the trailing wheel. Neutral Ackerman, in theory, the leading wheel and the trailing wheel will have the same amount of steering angle. But we'll talk about all of that once we get this installed. Let's go ahead and make a mark on these knuckles and then cut that toe arm off. And then we'll show you how we mount this. All right, so I'm just going to take a Sharpie and draw a line of where I want to cut. All right, so I'm going to be using a metal grinder to cut this off. You can also use a Sawzall. I'm just going to use a metal grinder with a cutting wheel. Um, and of course, make sure you uh, wear eye safety and hand safety. I'm using some Drift Daddy glasses. You can buy these online at driftdaddy.net. So fashionable way to stay safe. All right, so we got the knuckles modified to accept the FDF brackets. Um, as you can see, there's just enough clearance right there. Let me try to get from this angle. So yeah, just enough clearance if you kind of just cut from this hole up and then out, just make basically an L cut. Um, I used the grinder wheel and that seemed to work well. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and jack this car up and put it to full lock so you can see what sort of angle it gets right now. And it's not bad, but truthfully, it's maybe only like 45 degrees, maybe 50 degrees of steering angle. And this kit, truthfully, depending on the Ackerman settings that you use, should get you between 60 and 70 degrees of steering angle. What's crazy is this kit costs less than what I paid for the Part Shop Max modified knuckles. So not only does this get you more angle, more adjustability as far as Ackerman goes, it's just an all around better kit. I'm really excited to try this. So let's go ahead and get this slapped on the car and then go get it aligned so we can test it out. Okay, so I went ahead and turned the car to full lock. I started the car, rocked it back and forth to get to full lock, and this is what we're working with. Now, I haven't measured this, but just eyeballing, I, I honestly wouldn't even say that's 50 degrees of angle. I'd say maybe like 45 degrees of steering angle. I'll show you the other side as well. So yeah, maybe, maybe this side has, 48, 49 degrees. And then this side, my guess is around 45 degrees of steering angle, which is about 20, 25 degrees more than factory, but it's still not a ton of steering angle. So this kit should give us significantly more, which is awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and get this installed. Uh, this, by the way, this is interesting. One of, one of my neighbors, so if you're watching this, literally just come talk to me. But one of my neighbors complained to the city saying that I'm running a mechanic shop out of my house. So they came and uh, gave me this thing. This says I need to show a business tax receipt. Otherwise, I got to go to this hearing, which I'm not going to do that shit. I'm working on my cars. I'm not running a mechanic shop. All of these cars are mine. So that's why they think that it's a mechanic shop. But frick this old man anyways. If, if you're the one that called, frick you, buddy. 
but yeah let's go ahead and jack this car up and then we will install this kit all right so it is installed and i am so happy with it i mean this is not quite full lock because i have to be in the car with load in order to kind of get to full lock and believe it or not i'm using the factory suspension so that's still factory leaf spring now i did cut off where the uh sway bar would go but it handles phenomenal i've had the sway bar off this car even with the part shot max angle and the part shot max did not get nearly as much as this and again what's really really cool about this kit one it's cheaper than part shot max but two it has adjustable ackerman washers it comes with six different adjustable settings for your Ackerman. And what your Ackerman is, is this is the leading wheel, how much angle this wheel has in comparison to how much the trailing wheel has. Now, I have the neutral Ackerman or zero Ackerman washer in there. And what that does is that has the same amount of angle for the trailing wheel as the leading wheel. What that's going to do is kind of allow the car to be faster in drift. So I'm super excited, but let's go put it on the alignment rack and I'll show you guys the settings that I use. All right, so here's the final spec. So you can see about negative three degrees of camber up front. The reason you want that is because when you're at full lock uh, in drift, that's going to kind of, the wheel will stand over. So you set it to a static negative three, negative four camber. And then when you uh, go to full lock, it should be around maybe plus one degree. Tow out up front helps again with in drift and tow in and back helps with grip while you're in drift. Where do you want to do the tires at? I'm going to pull it over to Bay too. All right. All right, alignment done. If you are new to this channel, I want to give away this car to one of the subscribers when we reach 100K. And I don't want to do, you know, you buy this and then you potentially win. I just want to give it away to someone. So if you are viewing this and you want to win this car, make sure you subscribe. All right, we got both the cars at the gas station. We are headed to the track now. Just getting some gas. Holy guacamole, it's packed already. Now we gotta find a spot to park. Looking for Mr. Kenny Slides. It is freaking packed at the track. So, I mean, hopefully we get some seat time. There's a ton of cars, so we'll see how it works out. Boy. I think something else is supposed to go here. Maybe. Okay. A little bit of chop chop. What up? Oh yeah. You guys going to get back? Uh, we're going to get back. Okay, good. Tons of freaking gnarly cars. So this is the first lap with the new angle kit. I'm going to do my best to keep up with Kenny, but he's on Bellinos. Got a ton of grip in this car, so it's going to be interesting. Oh, this line is gnarly. The line for A class is ridiculous. Wow.
we're following Kenny again. I'll be honest, it is hard to follow him because he has a ton of smoke. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with the angle kit. It's a little heavier of a feel than the previous kit, but honestly, I like it because I have to be much more intentional with where I want to put the car. trying to repair his car i'm not going to do a close-up of his car but subscribe to his youtube if you want to see uh the footage from that i'll let him explain what happened but we're probably going to drive the camaro a little bit do some ride-alongs session so far in a class the fdf kit has been phenomenal uh, again the steering feel you really have to be more intentional so when i'm transitioning usually i would let the car self steer and the wheel would just spin completely to full lock the other way but this will spin and then it'll kind of start to slow down when when the car is ready to be set into drift so i really like the feel of the kit but now what we need to do, because we have the tire pressure at probably about 12 PSI hot. Now what's going to happen since we have about a two hour wait before our next session is the tire pressure is going to drop dramatically, probably down to like six PSI. I'm not trying to DB the tire, so I'm going to air them up. Now I'm going to show you all what I bring to the track rather than a big old air compressor. So this, which is about the size of a phone, is the Airmoto air compressor. It's a portable air compressor. And it's really cool. Let's zoom in on it. You hold it, it powers up, and then you set your uh, tire pressure to what you want. So here we have it at 35. It also has an extension as well. So you simply connect this. Now you can hook it up to your tire. Simply screw it on. And then you go ahead and hit the power button again. You'll notice it gives a reading of what the current pressure is, 15 PSI. I have it set to 35 PSI, so it's gonna go ahead and air it up. If you wanna stop to a lower pressure, you just simply hit the power button again. So I'll probably put these to 20. Now again, I could set this, instead of 35, I could set this to 20 PSI. 
once you're done, you simply push the pause button or alternatively, once it gets to the target pressure, it'll go ahead and stop. So once you're done, you go ahead and just unhook it. But this thing is a lifesaver. I use it at the track. It's much better than bringing one of the portable air compressors. I have a portable Craftsman air compressor, but it takes up too much space in the trunk. This is only a hundred bucks, about the size of a phone. And in fact, you can save money using the discount code in the description. So if you want to check this out, go ahead and click the link in the description. Let's get back to driving. So it is about midnight. I just got home with the cars. I'd say overall today was a huge success. I was able to accomplish two things that I wanted to. One was testing the FDF kit. I'm so impressed with the kit. If you think about it, this kit is only a little over $400 and you really get 60, 65 degrees of steering angle and it feels phenomenal. The steering feel was, it was nice and crisp. I didn't have to guess with where the car was gonna go. I could literally flick it and know that I would set it in the right place. I was able to get on people's doors and this was the first time that I drove the car with this kit. So I'm very excited for next weekend, which is Clutch Kickers. And the second thing was, this was a charity event. So each ride along that I gave, which was probably four or five ride alongs, uh, is a donation to the local animal shelter. So really cool event. Uh, again, if you're new to the channel, the goal is to give away this car. I love it. I have honestly more fun in this car than I do right now in the Camaro. The Camaro is cool. It's unique. Nobody really drifts a fifth gen Camaro, but this is just so much faster, not only in drift, but even in a straight line. So you potentially could win this. All you need to do is subscribe. I want to just give it away to a random subscriber at 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm still figuring out the legality of that, but please make sure you subscribe while you're here if you're interested in that car. Also, all of the proceeds that I make from YouTube and from my website, which the description is in the bio, I am going to give away as well to charity uh, to the local children's and family services here in Daytona Beach. So that's just another good reason to check out the videos, check out some merch on the website. I'm still designing shirts and things like that. So that's to come very soon. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video, which is gonna be Clutch Kickers. So stay tuned for that one.